fellow collectors. Frank here, back with another TTM success video. TTM for standard for through the mail. Success autographs, I have four in the box today. Let's get right at it here. First in the box here, I have a TTM success number 55. A two for two in 19 days out of Capital District. Let's see what we got here. Dun -dun, we have Hall of Famer. Adrian Dantley on this 88-89 flare, looking nice there in blue ink. And we have him here on the 89-90 hoops. Looking quite nice there. We have Adrian Delano Dantley, born February 28th, 1955 in Washington, D.C., 65 years young. Dantley was a 6'5 forward that played 15 seasons in the NBA, 76 to 1991. Nicknamed A.D. or the teacher, he was drafted in the first round 6 overall in the 1976 NBA draft by the Buffalo Braves out of Notre Dame, where, where a few years later he earned a degree in economics. During his career, he played with the Buffalo Braves in his rookie season. 76 77 Buffalo Braves were later the LA Clippers um, the Indiana Pacers the LA Lakers he played the bulk of his career with the Utah, Utah Jazz from 79 to 86 played with the Detroit Pistons the De Dallas Mad Mavericks and he rounded up his career with the Milwaukee Bucks during the 1991 season he was a Mr. Dent was an extremely smart player he routinely baited his opponents into follow him. He was an extremely good foul shooter. He actually he is tied with the all-time NBA record with Wilt Chamberlain for the most free throws in a regular season game with 28. Mr. Dantley was a 76-77 Rookie of the Year, a six-time All-Star. He was a two-time scoring champ. He averaged 30 plus a game four straight seasons in the 80s with the Utah Jazz from 80 to 84. He had a career average of 24.3 points per game, 54% field goal shooting percentage and an 81.8 free throw shooting percentage. He was inducted into the NBA Hall of Fame in 2008. And an interesting fact about Mr. Dantley, he is now employed part-time as a school crossing guard in his local area in Maryland. Um, he's been doing that since 2013, apparently. So thank you very much, Mr. Dantley. Second return I have here is TTM number 56. It's a 3 for 3 in 13 days out of Santa Ana, California. We have da -da -da, for the PC, Mr. Kevin Romine looking Quite sharp there in this 87 tops with the black sharpie ink and on this 88 flare and this 90 Don Ross. I'll put the tops in front there. We have Kevin Andrew Romine, born May 23rd, 1961, in Exeter, New Hampshire, 59 years young. Romain was a right-handed bat and right-handed throwing utility outfielder who played during seven seasons in the majors with the Boston Red Sox from 1985 to 1991. He was drafted in the second round, 46 overall, in the 1982 MLB draft out of Arizona State University. Mr. Romine was a career 251 hitter with five home runs, 55 RBIs, and 630 at-bats. And interesting about Mr. Romine, of those five homers in his career, two of them were walk-off game-winning home runs. First of them happened on July 16, 1988, in a game at Fenway Park between the Royals and the Boston Red Sox. Romine connected off a 1-0 pitch off of Royals pitcher Steve Farr. Ripping it over the Green Monster in the bottom of the ninth for a 7-6 Red Sox victory. He then accomplished the same feat on July 2nd, 1990, when he blasted a ninth inning game-winning home run off of a 3-2 pitch off of Texas Ranger pitcher Kenny Rogers, winning the game 3-2 for the Red Sox. So, 
That's pretty good percentage there. Five home runs, two, two, two of them were walk-off home runs. Another interesting fact about Mr. Romine, he is the father of Major League players, Andre Romine, who is in the Rangers organization, and Austin Romine, who was part of now playing for the Texas Rangers, not Texas Rangers, the Detroit Tigers. And Mr. Rona, Romine was also a police detective with the LAPD for 21 years into retiring in 2016. So thank you mu- very much there, Mr. Romine. Certainly appreciate it. Next I have here is success number 57, a one-for-one one in 13 days with a $15 donation out of Las Vegas, Nevada. We have... Dun, dun, dun. For the set... We have Mr. Raleigh Fingers looking quite sharp there on this 1981 tops with that $300 mustache. Um, Rollin Len Fingers was born August 25th, 1946 in Steubenville, Ohio. He grew up in Southern California. Mr. Fingers was a dominant right-handed closer throughout his career, playing 17 seasons in the majors with the Oakland Athletics. Um, 68 to 76 where he got that $300 mustache next here we had he played for the San Diego Padres from 77 to 80 he played with the Milwaukee Brewers from 81 to 85 and an interesting fact about Mr. Fingers he was actually part of the Boston Red Sox organization for three whole days in 1976 on June 15, 1976 A's owner Charlie Finley sold or as he stated, traded ace closer Raleigh Fingers and outfielder first baseman Joe Rudy to the Red Sox for $1 million. And he also had sold Vita Blue to the Yankees for $1.5 million. This stood n- until three days later. None of these players even played a game with any of this team. But three days later, Commissioner Bowie Kuhn, next to Dale, stayed in the best interest of baseball. Mr. Fingers was a 1981 MVP Cy Young Award winner in 1981 with a 1.04 ERA and 28 saves in the strike shortened season. He was a seven time All Star, three time World Series winner, save leader three times. He had a career ERA of 2.90 with 341 career saves. He was the all time save leader until Jeff Raiden pressed the mark. In 1992, he was inducted into the Major League Baseball Hall of Fame in 1992. Last but not least here, I have my final return for the day. TTM success number 58 are two for two in 11 days out of San Diego, California. We have NFL Hall of Famer Charlie Joyner. Looking quite nice here in this 1985 Tops and another 85 Tops Wreck-It Breaker card. So we have Mr. Charles B. Joyner Jr. Born October 14, 1947 in Manny, Louisiana, 73 years young. Joyner was a wide receiver in the American Football League and the National Football League for 18 seasons. He was drafted in the 4th round, 93rd pick overall in the AFL draft by the Houston Oilers out of Grambling State University in Louisiana. During his 18 season career, he played with the Houston Oilers from 69 to 72, the Cincinnati Bengals from 72 to 75, and he had some great years with the San Diego Chargers from 76 to 86. Mr. Joyner was a 5'11", 188 pound wide receiver he despite not being considered the quickest and most talented of all the wide receivers in the league he made up with some smarts he was a quite a smart receiver he had a long healthy career hall of fame coach bill walsh said of him joiner that he was the most intelligent the smartest the most calculated receiver in the game ever known he was a three-time pro bowler he was a one-time All-Pro. He was inducted into the NFL Hall of Fame in 1996, as you see there. He got he has the inscription. I do appreciate the inscriptions on the card there, Mr. Joyner. That's quite cool. And his career stats were 
He had 750 career receptions, 12,146 career yards, and 65 career touchdowns. At the time of his retirement, he he was the all-time leader in receptions, yards, and in games with 239. So, and Mr. Joyner answered a few questions for me. So, I asked Mr. Joyner, who was your favorite teammate? Hall of Fame quarterback Dan Fouts. Who was the toughest defender you had success against? We have Will Brown of the Raiders, and I asked him, if a movie was made about your life, what would be the title? The Master. Quite cool, indeed. So, thank you very much there, Mr. Joyner. Thank you for joining me today. I, I appreciate you viewing my video here of some nice TTM successes. I hope you're all having a good day today. It's a little snowy, snowy out here today in New England. First snowfall of the season. Anyways, take care, all of you. God bless. Peace.